The U.S. is on a pace this morning for what could be the deadliest year on the road since 2007, and that's according to the National Safety Council. Take a look at the numbers from the first half of 2015 compared to the same time last year. We have lost nearly 19,000 of our 19,000 rather of our fellow Americans in road accidents in 2015, and that's up 14 percent from 2014. Former NTSB chair, chairwoman Deborah Hersman, chairman Deborah Hersman is president and CEO of the National Safety Council. First on CBS this morning, she's here with the disturbing findings. Good to have you back at the table. Sorry, it's for this. The obvious question is, why are they so high? You know, unfortunately, we see um, the economy improving. And that's a great thing when it comes to our dollars and cents, but it's a negative thing when we look at fatal crashes. When we see the economy improve, we also see an uptick in fatal crashes. Why? You know, we think that it's probably because Americans are driving more, they have more disposable income, more em Americans are employed, and so they're driving to work, they're taking longer vacations, and they're just putting more miles on their car. But we see about a 3.5% increase in miles driven and that doesn't necessarily track with the 14 percent of fatalities. And so there's more going on, Charlie. One of the most interesting things you mentioned, you talked about carpooling. And it seems sort of counterintuitive that actually this is increasing danger somehow on the roads. Can you explain that? Sure. Really, when it comes to teens, one of the biggest factors when it comes to their safety is making sure that they're focused on the road. Additional passengers in the car can really affect that. Each additional passenger in the car increases their crash risk. 44% for one additional passenger and four times the crash risk with four kids in the car. So it's much safer, even though you've got more cars on the road, to keep those kids separated and let them drive themselves to school rather than carpool. We, all, we have all heard about texting and driving and how dangerous that is. What are the other issues you're concerned about? You know, summertime is a deadly period. We see spikes in distracted driving, in speeding, and in impaired driving. Lots of weekend parties, long holidays, a lot of alcohol is consumed, and so unfortunately we see an uptick in those impaired driving crashes. Drinking, speeding, and looking at your iPhone at the same time. Hmm. Absolutely. It's the triple threat of danger on the highways, and unfortunately we're not driving those numbers down. If you follow the data, it's a flashing red caution sign saying there's danger ahead. And what do we do about that, Deborah? Because after a while, I think it becomes white noise to people about texting and driving. What do we do to get people's attention to really change that? You know, it's not just texting and driving. I think people think about texting, and of course, that's something that's very prevalent. We see in ob observations um, that that actually is going up. It's not going down. But it's all distractions. People have got to stay focused on the road. It just takes a split second. Yeah. But that's why we see those fatality and injury numbers going up. Yeah. Can I just change the subject? We had a computer glitch that led to a lot of passengers on planes getting, uh, having to wait and wait and wait. Um, is that an unusual occurrence? And, and is it something having to do with the way things are today? You know, I would say all of us are heavily reliant on technology, whether it's um, getting to work, um, flying on a plane. Um, and so that reliance on technology is really putting a lot of pressure on those systems to be stable. And we've got to think about redundancies and ask backup. about that. Why not redundancy? Yeah, we've got to have redundancies for those critical systems, particularly if you can take the whole system down or slow uh, the system. Thank you, Deborah Hersman. Good to have you.